Hi, how you doing? I'm Brock Landers at TankUp.us, and we're here talking to SUV drivers about their vehicles, why they love them, we love them. Let's talk to them. Let's find out some more information. Why did you choose this vehicle? Well, for one thing, I really like the style of it, shape, the contours, and the height for driving. You, you know, you can see much farther. Why do you think the SUVs have become so popular? Because you've got the style of a luxury automobile in a truck, so you can run over curbs, as well as it can be something that can store a lot of equipment. How do you feel about your SUV? Why do you love it? I feel very proud about this car because of the shape. It's very sexy. So you have not yet used this for like off-roading? I haven't really. It's basically just for uh, um, within city use. Uh, compared to a uh, sedan or a small, smaller vehicle, how do you feel about those compared to your car? It gives me a great feeling because I'm above uh, most people and uh, a huge car as this gives you so much uh, uh, stability and power and it equals confidence. I noticed that this is like the granddaddy yeah. of the SUVs, which yes, is great. Um, what do you love about this vehicle? You know, I don't really know. It's just I like driving high. I feel like I'm driving in my living room. Um, and it looks cool. But I think people like to drive them because they're big and it makes them feel like big. <laughs> about it well the space you know a lot of stuff to haul around and stuff what makes them so popular well I think the the, the protection there's enough under frame work here that can protect the vehicle in the city we get around 20 21 miles to the gallon why do you think F SUVs are so popular these days well usually like a lot of famous people have them like with rims and all that stuff they add TVs to them and, like you really have a safe car you know and depends on a car accident which one would the most damage, the big car or the small car? Uh, I think it'll be the small car that will be damaged. And it also depends on like, if what kind of car fits you. Like, let's say for a girl, like they, drive, they like to small, like draw, drive small cars. For like men, like big cars, like SUVs. I understand that you have a couple of feelings about SUVs. What are those? Well, basically, SUVs are not necessary in LA because we have no driving conditions. We don't. It doesn't snow here. We don't have floods or torrential rains or anything like that. We do not have the parking space for SUVs. They take up too much gas. They take up too much room. And you have soccer moms who can barely drive a regular car. <laughs> driving, these women are about this tall, driving a car that's about this tall, and it's just for one child. You know, and you, you know, I just, I don't understand the reason behind them. Buy a minivan. Right. <laughs> you know? Form doesn't follow function is what you're saying. Exactly. It's just, you know, sometimes, uh, if we live, so, if people lived up in a mountain terrain, like up in Big Bear or something like that, I could see the use for an SUV. But down here, I mean, this is L.A. We don't. Look at this. This is the way the weather is most of the time. Where do we need SUVs? Why do you think that SUVs are so popular right now? I think just because everyone has them. And I think that also minivans are really out. Everyone thinks, oh gosh, you know, like an old mom if I have a minivan or if I have a station wagon. And like a uh, SUV is like the hip thing for a mom, you know? Right. <laughs> the hip new thing for anyone that has to transport children. You don't have to feel like you're an old person, you know, even young people without children are driving SUVs. So if there was just like a step that I could like push a button and a step would go down, that would be like so awesome. Like certain buses they have those. Yes. Why did you choose your vehicle? Long time ago, a girlfriend of mine had a pickup truck and we went camping and she had a place to sleep in the back so we sleep and screwed in the back it was great I said from now on I want a uh, SUV or pickup what is your favorite thing about an SUV uh, the space uh, the sense of power and uh, you know you just have it, it music sounds better inside why do you think SUVs are so popular these days because whatever is popular is going to be popular that it's as simple as that right. Arnold Schwarzenegger okay <laughs> <laughs> if you were in a think tank of promoting the next level of SUVs, what would be something that you would suggest? Probably something that goes underwater. Wow, that's a great one. I didn't think of that. Why do you think uh, SUVs are so popular? 
Well, you know, it's uh, it's, it's like uh, guns. You know, once one person has a gun, you have to have a gun to defend yourself. I mean, it's a jungle out there, man. As far as safety in SUVs, what what do you have to say about those? Uh, this is safe. I mean, look at it. I'm riding up high. It's powerful. You know, I flatten anything that's in my way. It's safe as hell. Can you tell me how this vehicle compares to your last vehicle and what that vehicle was? Well, my last vehicle was a Hyundai, so there's really no comparison at all. I mean, I felt like I was being squashed by all these Escalades and everything, so, you know, I had to get up with the big boys. Any complaints about SUVs? Yeah, you know, I've had a few bicycle messengers get upset and, you know, old ladies and stuff like that, but, you know, they're not, obviously not SUV drivers. They just don't get it. I don't have any complaints. I have none at all. I love my SUV. <laughs> Do you do off-roading? Uh, no, I've uh, I've actually never been uh, never been off-road with this. No. Do you go camping and do you do anything like that? Do you off-roading and stuff like that? Well, you know, I really hate to admit it, but no. Do you take this car off-roading at all? Uh, we haven't, but I'm sure my husband would love to do that. Do you uh, use your SUV to go camping? No. Ever off-road? No. Okay. How often in one month do you go camping with your vehicle? Well, I don't usually go camping. Just like go out around, you know, the city. Do you uh, ever take it off-roading? No. Off-roading? No. <laughs> We're pretty, like, you know, comfortable people. Um, I guess that, you know, it would be a fun car to off-road in. Do you take this vehicle on off-roads or camping trips and stuff like that? Uh, not yet. you go off-roading at all? No, it's not white border. No, no way. <laughs> no, they messed this thing up. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> do you use it for off-roading? In California? <laughs> It's just the story with the, with the uh, you know the big problem we have today is the exaggeration of two GIs getting killed in Iraq mm -hmm. when we kill 42,000 people on the highway and 10,000 people die in drowning every year. Do we have a, a chart on the on the on the in the daily newspaper? We lost 10 people this week or t today. Right. You probably lose more in California in one month than they do since the whole war in in in, in Iraq. At tankup.us, we support the troops and, and what they're doing over there. And, and uh, if you had an opportunity to talk to them, if you would address the camera and just, uh, what would you say to them? I would say you're doing a wonderful job and you should keep up all the good work you're doing. And we really support you here. And um, just, you're really brave and uh, come back safe and soon and um, doing a great job. Thank you for our freedom. I uh, appreciate all that you guys have done, and God bless you all. Uh, thanks for doing a great job and fighting for us over there while well, we're all here. You guys are our heroes, and we love you. America loves you, and so do I. And I'm sorry if I'm driving this huge car, because I know a lot of it is a gas thing. I feel a little guilty about it, but... Just hang in there, fellas. You're doing a damn good job. We're all pretty lucky here over here that you guys are fighting for our country. What would you say to them? I said, good work, guys. It's a ridiculous war, but you guys are doing a damn good job. I have a friend, and he was there. He just came back. He was at sea, and he said that it wasn't it wasn't as good as it looks. Well, it doesn't look good, and it doesn't look bad. It looks bad, too, because you notice a lot of soldiers dying in there and then of the war. Don't listen to any of that left-wing hippie crap, okay? You're over there to do a job, and we support you. Real SUV-driving Americans support you. We want you over there. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Wrapping up, I'm Brock Landers with TankUp.us. Thanks for joining us. Tank up and tank you. <laughs>